time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here. And as of right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing, remember? What if he calls my bluff? <sighs> he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once, going twice. Scott. Then may we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That bid brings Don't us worry. to 120. You'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. But with what? Now the bid has reached 130,000. <sighs> nope. We are now at 140. Your bid, Signore, takes us all the way to 150,000 euros. Gotta be something. Come on. Hey man, uh, stop the sweat bullets here. Yeah, give me a sec. Yes. We are now at 180,000 euros in the room. And now it's 190,000 euros. My goodness, we are now at 200,000 euros in this All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's bid, 210,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice? Then I shall sell it for 500,000. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. <laughs> Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey! Stop that guy! Fermo! What are you doing? You letting him get away! You speak Spanish. What? Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You wanna say hi? Yeah, we really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. Ho visto qualcosa che si muoveva vicino alla torre. Devi 
farlo sapere a tutti, cazzo! Tieni gli occhi aperti! si muoveva vicino alla torre. Devi farlo sapere a tutti, cazzo. E gli occhi aperti. Okay, maybe we should have brought guns. Climb and get a good vantage point. Merda, se riescono a svegliarsela, non ce la faranno. Li troveremo e li riempiremo di buchi. Ma sappiamo cosa fare. Resta concentrato. D'accordo. to higher ground to get my bearings. All right, see you soon. Yeah.
Prima o poi ti troverò! Qualcuno ha trovato niente? No, niente da segnalare! E' quinto! Everything's fine. No one got a good look at me. Just gonna play cool. Stroll right on out of here. Oh, scusi. You're not supposed to be back here. Well, neither are you. But I'll tell you what, I won't tell anyone if you don't. You have something I want. And you're going to give it to me. Really? Well, I'm flattered, but I'm afraid I'm spoken for. Oh, if you'll excuse me. I'm not in the mood for games. Give me the crucifix. Lady, you're lucky I'm a gentleman. Because if I weren't, I would... You'd what? <laughs> All right, fine. Just remember, I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you've got. Don't tell it. Nice try. I gave you that one. Come here. Now hand me the artifact. Did you know all the artifacts here are stolen? They belong in a museum. I'm really losing my patience. All right, look. I'm still a little jet lagged. How about we just call it even? Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smart ass? You know, you're breaking a lot of expensive stuff in here. If you're not careful, they're gonna kick us out of here. Alright, wait, wait! It's in my back pocket. Where is it? Right there! <laughs> All right, I'm at the car. Where the hell are you guys? Uh, I just met your friend, Nadine Ross. She's lovely. Yeah, well, it's total chaos out here. I'm trying to keep it contained, but everybody's freaking out. I don't want to rush you, but hurry the hell up. Nathan, where you at? Good question. You? By the ballroom. Look for this round sign thing. It's on the way. Round sign thing. Check. Good news is I got a gun. See you soon.
da questa parte! Hector and Carter stuck here. Any ideas? The fastest way is through the ballroom. Said the ballroom's locked out. Yeah, well, now that they know it's you guys, they clear the place out. That ballroom it is. You get that, Nathan? Yeah, got it.
something. Okay, almost to the ballroom. Nathan, I'm pinned down in here. I can use a hand. On my way, Sam. Oh, good. This auction, huh? Oh, yeah. Me too. All right, boys, change of plan. Too many people trying to leave. The driveway's all jammed up. There's that fountain just outside the ballroom. I'll meet you there. Got it. Let's go.
I hope I don't go to hell for this. Shit. What? It's empty. What? Oh, you're such an <laughs> asshole. He's your brother. All right, skull and crossbones. Very good sign. Xavier's insignia. What is this? Uh, Hodie mecum eris in paradise. Today you will join me in paradise. paradise. It's when Jesus said to Saint Dismas on the cross. Right. But what about these numbers here? What do, you, what do you make of this? It's some kind of code or a phone number. <laughs> Come on. The dates. Huh? Look. 1659. It's the uh, year Avery was born. 1699. Let me guess. The year he died. Well, uh, by most accounts, yeah, but that means we have date of birth, date of death, and paradise, which means we're looking for Avery's grave. It's St. Dismas's Cathedral. <laughs> Wait a second. Hasn't Rafe been scouring that site for ages already? Yeah, the cathedral. See these symbols? Yeah. These are found on old Scottish gravestones. Right. Right? Now, look at this. The layout of this place is really unusual. Uh. Here's the cathedral, but the graveyard is way over here. Ray's been focusing on the wrong area. Exactly. Guys, we're going to Scotland. All right, all right. Wait, wait up. You do realize that Rafe knows you're coming. Yeah, we can deal with that when we get there. Look, that psycho would like nothing better than for you to show up. Plus, he's got Nadine and her whole army to back him up. Yeah, but he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. I thought this was about saving Sam. It is. But come on, it's both, right? We need the treasure so we can save Sam. How is Elena cool with all this? Jesus, kid. Look, it's just not that simple. But with all that you two have been through together... She wouldn't understand this. You are not giving her enough credit. I can't take that chance. Nathan, he's right. Things have changed. Rafe's involved now, and... I can... I can take this on my own, really. Great. Well, thank you for your input. Both of you. Excuse me. Hey. Hey, it's me. Yeah. No, the reception's lousy. Yeah. Something on your mind, dear? Look, I, uh, I realize it couldn't have been easy, all those years away. And I'm sorry for what happened to you, but it's not his fault. I never said that it was. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. You see a gun to his head? He chose this. Okay, he's meant for this life. You really believe that? Why are you here, Victor? Because somebody's got to keep an eye out for him. No, I'll just see you in a few more weeks. Yeah, I will. Okay, I love you too. Bye. Just told her that the job was going to take a little longer than expected, which is the truth, right? So come on, what do you say? Sam could still use our help. Well, <clears throat> I do hear that the weather is particularly fine in Scotland this time of year. Well, Rafe's really going all in, isn't he? Well, they're all concentrated around the cathedral, so that's good. Because we are going to have that graveyard all to ourselves. <sighs> Sully. Yeah? Hey, listen, we're good to go here. Okay, kid. Happy hunting. Last chance to come with. Yeah, well, unless you can find me an escalator, I think I'll pass. <laughs> all right. We'll see you in a few. Uh, hey, Nate. Yeah? Just, uh... Ah, just bring me back something shiny, will you? That's the plan. Well, let's go pay our respects to Captain Avery, huh? Scott.
Scottish Cathedral. Strange place to bury your treasure, no? Uh, not really. I mean, by the time Avery would have sailed here, the place was already abandoned. I guess that's true. Plus, with a massive bounty on his head, it'd be a good place to hide. So, uh, what happened between you and Rafe? Nah, I couldn't deal with him. I'm pretty sure he'd had enough of me. I was still coming to grips with your, uh, death and with his frustration from not finding the treasure. I'm pretty sure he was ready to kill me by the time I bailed. <laughs> Imagine what he want to do to you now. <laughs> yeah, try not to. Sam, listen. He's ruthless. I mean, even more so than when we teamed up with him. I mean, I've heard stories. Trust me, me too. All the more reason I don't feel bad about any of this. So is it just like you remember it? Of uh, the cathedral grounds? Yeah. Well, pretty much. Although it's been so long, a little hazy. These crane explosives? I think still in the cross might have made our boy Rafe a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, just a tad. Yeah, I need to find another way down. Hey, this should hold. What is all this? It's excavation equipment. Shoreline? What? Look. I thought they were just by the cathedral. <laughs> oh, shit! Get out! <laughs> Okay, 
We're good. Yeah. Nice to meet you too, Shoreline. Seems like they were expecting us. And like they're searching away from the cathedral. Which means we should get to that graveyard pronto. Exactly. Why didn't you guys <clears throat> search beyond the cathedral? Oh, we did. A little. This place is so big, without knowing where to look, it's like shooting in the dark. Or like blowing shit up in the dark. Where's this place? The monks had several living quarters. Main one being by the graveyard, of course. <laughs> yeah, location, location, location. More shoreline equipment. Uh, at least no shoreliners. <sighs> well, maybe we'll get lucky and they'll blow themselves up. Careful with that stuff, huh? Got the door open. That was very loud. Hopefully they didn't hear us. Uh, hopefully we just blend in with the other explosions. Look, there's a way up through the roof. It's too high for a boost, though. So let's find something to climb on. Yeah. Use this to climb out of that building. Take that, door. Pretty good with that stuff. Well, I've blown a lot of shit up over the years. Shit. 
should be fine. Nicely done. That could have been bad. Yeah. Let's get out of here before anyone checks in on them. There. Come on, let's go. Okay, now what? Got it. Oh, careful. <laughs> Nathan, you okay? I'm good. Just follow me. There. You think you can do that? What are you talking about? I taught you that move. All right, let's see it then. There. You see? That was clumsy. <laughs> Sam, there's a ladder just out of reach. Hey, right, hold on. I'll come over. All right. Give me a boost. Pull you up.
Ah, thanks. There. All right, there it is. The mug storm. Just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Uh, don't jinx us. Down we go. Ah, Burns a little. Huh. Well, those are fun. I could do this all day. Shh, go where the money leads you. That's cold. It gets colder. I'm gonna take a leak while you educate our young recruit here. So what happened next? Did he put down the revolt? With our help, he kept it at bay. And once the money ran out, no reason for us to stick around anymore. And the gym? Didn't even last for me. Cold bastards. As Nadine says, business is business. Whatever gets us more action. I could use a good coup right now. Tell me about it. Get the left one. I got right. We're gonna have to do better than that, fellas. Let's see if we can keep this up. Done prepping the site. The cemetery is ready for rich boys' visit. They're not slowing down, are they? The boss lady wants the results, and she wants them yesterday. Have they found anything? Heard they uncovered some stuff, but I don't know the details. Just missed us.
was kind of hairy. And someone was bound to hear all that. Come on, let's get a move on. Right beyond those walls. Whoa, we're not gonna jump this ravine. I need to find another way around. Time we go. Where did this bitch also get off? Easy, bro. I nearly blew my goddamn arms off only to get chewed out by that prick. I should have popped him. The guys fronting our entire crew. What do you think Nadine would do to you? I was following her order. Still, what do you think she'd do? Turn me inside out. Exactly. Take some deep breaths and go walk it off. Stroppy prick. Thinks he can tell me how to do my job. The American sure isn't making any friends. Well, as long as his money's good, that's fine by me. You think Drake's gonna show up? Nadine seems to think so. I'd love to see him and his crew make an appearance. But that goes for all of us. Keep going. Look at that view. <laughs> Ugh! <sighs> 
Sam, this way. Nice. Catch your breath. More sliding up ahead. This one's looking a bit more dangerous. Uh, shit. No choice. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, shit! If he did it, I can do it. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it's better than bungee jumping. Have you ever been bungee jumping? No, but I'm sure this is better. What you've been up to all these years? Jumping around ruins? Yeah, that and getting shot at. Blown up, punched, kicked. All right, all right, I get it. Knifed, drugged. Ah, that's that. Uh, not quite. Still gotta <gasps> climb higher across the ravine. I hope we're done sliding for a while. My ass is full of gravel. There's a dormitory gate. <laughs> You ready for this? Hey, give me a hand. Look at this place. Welcome to the St. Dismas Dormitory, alleged final resting place of one Henry Avery. <laughs> Let's find that grave. Hey, Nathan, check it out. This one's got a pair of cutlasses.
Just like the scroll from the cross. The dates aren't right. Well, one down and a hell of a lot to go. Okay. Cross cutlasses, skull and crossbones, and the date 1659 to 1699. We find a tombstone with all three, and we're in business. Well, let's desecrate some graves. Let's. Hey, where you going? I'm gonna look over here first. Uh, okay. I think I left the graveyard. Nope, no cross swords. Not our guy. Swords don't match the scroll. Here's a good one. <laughs> Bum. Yeah, well, the swords are a match. So is the year. <sighs> Sam, come here. Where'd you find it? <sighs> Benjamin Bridgman. That's Avery's alias. <laughs> Something odd about this skull, though. It's like it doesn't belong to the stone. Well, and what's odd about it is that's not Avery's sigil. Huh. Yeah, I mean, the skull should be facing... Sideways. sideways. What is that? Oh my God. <laughs> you ready for this? Oh, I've been ready for a long time. Yeah, look at that. 